there are only a few laboratories in the world where high magnetic field research can be performed. The European Magnetic Field Laboratory is the only place in Europe. It has four sites in three countries. In the Dresden High Magnetic Field Laboratory, the world's largest capacitor bank produces electrical pulses on the order of several hundred thousand amperes with tremendous power output. The result is Europe's highest magnetic fields, a perfect setting for research on new materials such as superconductors and novel magnets. We use high magnetic fields as a tool, sort of like a magnifying glass, in order to observe what's going on in various materials. When we receive a sample, it's similar to if we receive a present that we're not allowed to open. So we need other techniques to figure out what's inside that present. We could shake the present, we can x-ray it, and that's fundamentally that's similar to what we do here. So when I start out with the sample, I apply these gold wires onto my sample, and these wires need to run all the way from the bottom of the magnet up to, uh, to our various instruments. The probe is placed in the center of the magnet, and that allows us to then perform our measurements. Many compounds can be explored in this manner um, for the purpose of both not only physical sciences, such as chemistry or physics, but also biological sciences. What is so special about high magnetic field research is the great machinery. In the minutes before the pulse, we store the energy in a huge capacitor bank, and during the pulse, we set it free within milliseconds. In pulsed field laboratories like here in Dresden, the power costs are really low because we need the power only for a short time. Here in Dresden, we are going to operate 10 magnets in parallel, which will produce pulsed fields of about 90 Tesla. 90 Tesla compares to roughly more than 1,000 fridge magnets. We are now working on magnets which produce more than 100 Tesla. We are pushing the magnet material to its limits, so we had to take precautions like heavy doors and thick walls to prevent that something happens. The doors are roughly three tons in weight. Our research needs stronger and stronger magnetic fields. The co-work of scientists and technicians is of high value. They are experts. They are uh, the reason why our magnets live longer, but also they help to uh, improve their maximum magnetic fields. We cannot buy these magnets in a shop where we have to produce our magnet ourselves. So we buy very special materials like high-stress fibers that allows us to tailor these magnets just for the needs of the experimental techniques. Work at EMFL is always a teamwork. We can't be independent. Basically, only can do the stuff in cooperation. We are in tight contact uh, to other labs within the Europe. We share knowledge. We never compete. We talk to each other and this brings us to a good result. We do have a lot of external users here in Dresden, scientists from all over Europe, uh, United States, Russia, Japan, basically the whole world. The demand for this type of experiment was unexpectedly high. So we decided to extend our lab to build up the new capacitor bank and new experimental cells. The most challenging aspect of my job is that we never know what we're going to find. Though nobody knows what the results of an experiment may be, the results may prove to be applicable in the future and may be able to be applied to some practical application. We are discovering the future. <laughs>